I think I shot the tree stand. <laughs> okay, we are going to be showing you how to set a trap. Um, if you don't know how to, we're going to be showing you today. I'm going to be using some apples we have here. Um, and also, this, I don't think it works so good. But we're going to use all of these traps. We have four traps. We're going to set them in different places. Um, we're going to set um, one by the wood pile, one in our garden, I think maybe two in our garden, and maybe one up at the pile. We're going to be setting apples in, like two apples, and some of this. We're going to probably throw some seeds back there. Mm -hmm. A chunk of that. And that's ready to go. And then we're going to set this one. So I can show you how it's going to work. So this is the animal on my hand. It's going to go in. So um, this is how you set this one. It's a different kind um you have to like have it as high as you can go like that and then you go like that then you can use whatever kind of um food you want but if you want to um, use any other um you can but this would we're just trying this. We never tried it. That's why we're going to use it. So if you didn't see that one, well, you can just go like this, pull it up, let it go, set, then just throw some black back, um, rip some of this up. We're mainly trying to catch groundhogs because we don't want groundhogs in here. I think we should set this one. I don't know if I should... We should set it right there. Like, alone. And then the first thing... Once I come up to the path, the first thing I'll see is speed. So walk right in. Yeah, yeah probably right there. Just cover it with a little. Cover it a little with some grass if you want. Just put it around here so they know they will get it. I can tell that um there's a hole so I think this it's going to be a good um, trapping area. Uh, I think this is a rabbit um, or a groundhog um, trap. Here. Um, because 
I really think we're going to catch something because I know there's a lot of stuff in this pile. So I'm just going to set a couple apples around it. I'm just going to toss one in there. This one. You want to taste it? Second day we have a groundhog. Yeah. Well, I finally got a groundhog. Um, it took a long time. Two days. I think it was three. Three days. It is big. One less groundhog eating our tomatoes and peppers and stuff. I think I shot the tree stand. <laughs> this one's a fighter. It's making weird noises with its teeth. I think it's growling at us. I want to say it's tiny. He stuck his bottle cap in there. That. They it, must really like pumpkin, huh? Do you hear oh, it? Yeah. Did you just hear it? Mm -hmm. it? Made a weird noise with his teeth. All right, hold on, boys. Sure does stink. We got our second one and second groundhog. He didn't, yeah. he didn't even rebate the trap. Just got he got the other one and then and it just, he didn't he didn't want to bring it up. So I just so put it down. So he just set it in a random spot and the next day he got one. So two and five days. Two and two days. Two and two days. Sounds like we got too many groundhogs. <laughs>